All right, fellas, what is up? Welcome back. Thank you for tuning in. It is always greatly appreciated. And I am back with a Halo 6 discussion about a few things I want to see in Halo 6. And I'll, I'll talk to you guys a bit more about kind of what I have planned. But I've been gone for about a week, fellas. I've been busy. And I'll explain why at the end of this video. I've just been watching porn, just walking down the street with my sword. You know how it is, fellas. Just been keeping busy. So I want to start like a Halo 6 wish list because I'm guessing that Halo 6 is going to come out. Probably we're looking at a 2018 release, so we'll probably get a trailer at E3 next year. So I thought, what the hell, fellas? Let's start the speculation now. So there's a few things I want to discuss with you guys about some ideas that I think we could see in Halo 6. Now, of course, I want the series to be created by your guys' comments and ideas as well. So be sure to comment down below on any things you guys would like to see in Halo 6, and I will include them in this wishlist series. So like every video, I'll do like probably two or three ideas and kind of discuss it a bit about a few things I would love to see in Halo 6. So let's get straight into it, fellas. So the first thing is, is I think we're going to see more conflict between Locke and Chief now. They've played that up quite a lot for obviously Halo, Halo 6, Halo 5, I mean. They played that up quite a lot in the trailers, but we didn't really see too much of it. We did see it near the start of the game. Obviously, Chief and Locke had a fight. There's a bit of kind of differences there, but we didn't really see it too much throughout the game. But I think now in Halo 6 that... We know that Cortana is pretty much a villain. We're going to see more of a conflict between Locke and Chief. Chief probably thinking, well, Cortana, maybe I can talk her out of this. Locke thinking, nah, we just need to kind of stop her for, you know, for good. Like probably destroy her or kill her or something like that. So I think we are going to see more of a conflict between Chief and Locke like that. I don't know if we'll see them actually fight, but definitely more conflict between kind of the, like their way of thinking and between their two teams as well, Blue Team and Fire Team Osiris. And I would also like to see, I've actually talked about this before, but more playlist variety for the multiplayer at launch. So have like an infection, have a firefight, have a griff ball playlist at launch, that'd be pretty cool. And also playlists for like capture the flag, strongholds, assault if they choose to bring that back, and infection of course, and forge at launch. I think those are things that kind of need to be in the game, even though it's cool that they decided to keep those for later, I would still love to see them at the game at launch. Now the last thing I kind of wanted to talk to you guys about is I would love to see, which I think they're obviously still going to do because they couldn't do it in Halo 5 and then not do it in Halo 6, is the free DLC motto that they have for Halo 5. Now I freaking love it, I think it's the coolest thing ever. Now other games are starting to do this as well, like Uncharted 4 is doing it, Gears of War 4 is doing it, heaps of games are doing this now because they see how the player base can stay active. Obviously if the DLC is free, players keep coming back, because not everyone wants to pay for DLC. Now I would have happily, happily brought DLC for Halo 5 if it was kind of like a season pass, because I love Halo, but quite a lot of people wouldn't. So the fact that it, it is free has kept a shit ton of players in Halo 5. It's kept the most player, kind of, I don't know what the word I'm looking for, the player base. Yeah, that's the word, Jesus, on me, bang, get your word straight. The most player base since Halo 3 and Halo since launch. So that is pretty impressive and I talked about that before as well. So free DLC after launch and I would love to see Sparta Nobs brought back for Halo 6. I just imagine how cool it would be if we could play as like Spartan Palmer's team again and her or her teammates or her comrades, stuff like that. I think that would be really, really cool as well. Or imagine if they did like a prequel to each of the kind of teammates for Blue Team and Fire Team Osiris. How you actually played as them. I think that would be pretty freaking cool as well. Like, imagine kind of like a prequel series playing as them. That would be awesome as well. And like a Spartan Ops form. That would be really, really cool. But those are just a few ideas that I had, fellas, about some things I would love to see in Halo 6. Now, be sure to comment down below on stuff you guys love to see. And I'll be sure to include them in the next episode of this kind of Halo 6 wishlist is pretty much what this is. Seen as I'm guessing a 2018 release for Halo 6. Now, that is only two years away. We will probably get a trailer at E3 next year. Seen as... Last year was Halo year, now this year is Gears year, and I'm guessing next year is going to be the beginning of the Halo year as well. So fellas, as always, thank you for watching, it really is always greatly appreciated. Now, if you guys want to tune out now, that is all good, but I will quickly explain where I have been for the last week, and kind of my plans for this channel going forward, kind of, kind of quickly I'll just briefly discuss it because it's not really too much. But I will, I'm probably not going to be doing daily uploads anymore, it's a bit too much, I've really kind of... I've stepped up on my work, I've really stepped up on my training, because I do gym and all that, I'm, I've really stepped that up, and I've been working more hours, kind of to pay stuff off, I've been really trying to get my career on track, so I really do have to concentrate on that, now I won't be doing daily uploads anymore, I'll be aiming for 2-3 to three videos a week, but seeing as I'm kind of 
cutting down on the amount of videos I'm doing, that means I'll be able to plan each video more. So each video is going to have more content, more kind of discussions, more examples, stuff like that. So each video will be kind of jam-packed of goodies. So I hope you guys enjoy that. So this isn't bad news fellas, I've just kind of got to concentrate on my career, like I'll still be uploading videos, just not every single freaking day. So I'll still be uploading videos, just not at kind of the same pace. But as always, thank you for watching, have a great day, have a great week, don't watch too much porn fellas. Be sure to get outside and get some fresh air today, stay safe, stay tuned, and we'll see you fellas on the next one. Yeah.